I think what transpired this past weekend was worth celebrating. And because we had a bye weekend off, we really don't get to talk about it. But to put it in perspective a little bit is the fact that, you know, if our football team went into Clemson or the basketball team went into North Carolina and beat the number one teams in the country, it would be a really awesome thing for them as it was for us beating North Dakota. But then having to play them the next night, that's a tough task because they're upset. We, we talked about poking the bear in its own den and we had to stay in the den and, and play it again. And it was 1-1 going to the third period. And I think it was just a, a terrific experience for our young group to go in there and compete on a Friday and, and play well enough to win. And then the thing that happened on Saturday that most people don't know about is the fact that we lost our first line center in the first four seconds of the game. Uh, young Cameron Hughes went out with a, a shoulder injury and you know we had to kind of adapt to that. But the kids hung tough and and fought their way, and there was a lot of disappointment in that locker room after the game, which I, which I think is a good thing uh, because we were close. It hurt. And the message to our young people this week is to celebrate the fact that we defeated the number one team in the country on Friday, uh, and even though we lost, our goal this week is to get better. Just go into the weight room, get back on the ice, and let's continue to get better so that we uh, can improve as a team and get cl- closer to playing what we talk about all the time is championship hockey because when you start doing that then the score will take care of itself is that a light bulb moment this weekend you think absolutely i i we talk about the fact that you you can get confidence a little bit to some degree in practice by working hard and executing there but you have to have a signature victory a, a game in which you rise to another level the light bulb goes on you know like you know, these coaches aren't crazy. We're doing the right things, and this stuff actually works. And, uh, you know, you, you can equate it to that frontal lobe thing that maybe something turns in there that they actually it reasons out for them. And it was one of those weekends for us. And even though we lost the game on Saturday, it, it was good growth. We weren't where we wanted to be. And I don't know if you've been in that atmosphere in North Dakota. It's a great place to play. It's just they're like rats hanging off the ship, and they're, they're on top of you, and it's loud. And... It, it's an amazing thing, and to see our kids respond and play and not cower and take charge at moments was a really light bulb moment, as you said. You kind of joke that uh, you know these coaches aren't crazy, and the stuff that we work on works. Uh, but as coaches, do you need that moment too, uh, to to just sort of maybe not validate it, but just to to have that moment, that signature win, and to say as a staff, we're going in the right direction. Do you need that? Validate is the right word. I was thinking about that this morning. Uh, what it does is it, it, it creates a two-way confidence between the players and the coaches and the coaches and the players. And I think they're more eager to listen and to learn and to push themselves. So validation is a very, very fair word in this instance.